guys, today I have a review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Concealer and Foundation. I haven't opened it yet, and this is my first try for it. So I'm going to put this on, and then I'm not going to show like my whole makeup routine, but I'm going to take you through my day and, yeah, tell you, like, how I feel about it. Like, if it's cakey or dry, oily, if I just want to take it off. So yeah, I'm going to start in the heat. So I'm going to use my beauty blender. I'm not really a brush type of person because I just feel like maybe I just have bad brushes, but this always does a trick for me. Take you up in boom, 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 me, I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. There's redness from my acne scars. I can see it. So I think I might try to add another layer just on those spots. I think the color matches my skin really well. I thought it was going to be a little too dark. It's in the shade Fair. Sometimes it can go a little darker. You know what, actually I noticed, it looks like it is getting a little dark. I think I remember someone saying that, that once you put it on, it like gets a little darker, like a little more coverage. So, I don't think I'm going to put any more on. I think that's good. I can't really feel it on me. It feels really nice and light. Usually, uh, the foundation I was using last time, before this, was the um, Wet n Wild, and it looked good the first time, but it was really sticky, and it seemed like my brush, whenever I'd use my um, blush, like, it would take hold of the, um, the brush strands. So those would be left behind on my face. But I have to admit, for $5, it's worth it. Alright. I think that is good. I think it gives a nice little glow. Or it could just be my skin oils popping through. The foundation was $28, I believe. I got it at Ulta, and I got it 20% off. But I have to let you know, like... I'm hoping this will outbeat my favorite one, and that's the Naked Foundation. Like, it le left a um, powdery feel to it, like, and, and it feel blotchy, or it wouldn't crease or anything on my face. So, yeah, 
I'm gonna go fix my hair and put the rest of my makeup on and I'll show you my look and take you through my day. Alright guys, I am done with my makeup. I curled my hair. So now I'm going to take you through the day and see how it wears. I did put an extra layer of it because I just wanted to see how it would turn out. Like more, you know, you put more on, you feel it. And right now I don't feel it. So yeah, I will take you through the day and we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, it is 11.15. I put my makeup on. It was like around 8.30 nine in the morning and so far it's doing good it's a smidge sticky but that could be from the humidity like it's it's um like 70 what is it probably gonna be like 80 outside there's a nice cool air but you can feel the humidity to that so so far it's doing really well I don't notice any patchiness I can tell that I am wearing makeup though, so I don't really like that. I think maybe doing one layer next time, so yeah, I will keep going through my day and yeah, see you in a little. So I'm picking up my husband right now for lunch and I'm going to see what he thinks. If you can tell I'm wearing any new foundation. I mean, he knows I'm wearing new foundation, but let's see if he can see it. <laughs> so what do you think of my foundation? I like it. Can you see it? I mean, not like, hey, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah, nice and natural. Does it look like... I don't know, which foundation do you like better? No, the naked? <laughs> really? The I'm naked, sorry. the um, wet and wild one, or this one? Why do they have so wrong names? I don't know. I like that one. This one? Yeah, and it has a clean name. It doesn't have a name. Clinique. That... Yes. Yeah, Clinique. Yeah. It's not a name you're embarrassed to tell your children. Hey guys, so I'm back. And it is. What time is it? 5 50. I mean, 548. 548. And I'm ready to take this off. I mean, it feels nice, but I don't know. I can feel it. And I don't know. Looking in the mirror, it's just a tad too dark. Like, I'm wondering if maybe I put one layer on it. It might be better. But um, I do like it. Like for whenever I really want to put makeup on and want it to look like I have makeup on. And it covers up really nicely. I've noticed that. like, But you can still see some of it. Um, and then it just makes it seem like my peach fuzz, the little hairs on the face stand out more. I've noticed that in the wet and wild one and the naked one, they don't do that, I've noticed. And then also with breakouts, like I have a pimple coming out right here and I can feel it like with the foundation, like it just feels like it's agging it on. But I do like how much coverage it gives and from a distance like right here it looks flawless to me so I would give it a like three or four out of five stars and yeah <laughs> anyways I hope you enjoyed this video give it a like and, and give it a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe anyways my camera died and I came out here with my husband to let the dog out. But anyways, as I was saying, subscribe if you like this. And like if you also like this. And comment down below. <laughs> subscribe if you like this and like it. Oh my. Subscribe if you enjoy Mitchell. Subscribe if you want to.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Like if you like this video, and then subscribe if you want to see more, and then comment down below what your favorite foundation is, and what one you would recommend for um, not looking so cakiness and having oil pop through so much, because I think it, I mean, I'm not as oily as the wet and wild one, but yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time and have a blessed day. Oh my goodness. You guys. Always interrupting. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. <laughs> interrupting cow. <laughs> <laughs>